It's okay. Don't worry about it. It's all, all right. good. We'll just we'll just knock it out, and you'll be fantastic. All right. All right. All right here we go. <clears throat> Hey everyone, Jay Todd here coming to you from fabulous Las Vegas. And here's what's happening this week in gambling. This Week in Gambling has been made possible by Plaza Win Casino. Play online or on your mobile device with live dealers and huge bonus offers. Over 120 games are waiting at Plaza Win Casino, where the winning never stops. Hello, everyone, and welcome to This Week in Gambling. I'm your host, Jay Todd. Here with the news every player needs to know, including updates on social gaming, sports betting, including the World Series that gets underway this week, plus a new place where you can play poker for free online and win real money. No, really, real money. But first, this week's big story. There is still the slimmest of chances that online poker legislation could pass in the United States before the end of this year. And if it does, it will most likely be in the form of the Reed-Kyle bill, so named for Senators Harry Reed of Nevada and John Kyle of Arizona. I'm not going to get into the irony of having a man like John Kyle, one of online gambling's biggest opponents for the past several years, put his name on a web poker bill. But I will tell you why I don't like this legislation. It's true that this bill would legalize online poker in the United States, but at the expense of criminalizing every other form of online gambling. I do like the fact that it wants to regulate poker at a federal level rather than a state level because that's good for players. Just something about this bill that, that doesn't smell right. Maybe it's because old Skanky Pants is involved in it, and I just don't like him. People who frequent Zynga Poker via Facebook should take note as their stock continues to plummet, and rumor has it they're laying off more and more people. And you thought their customer service sucked before. Not every social gaming site is hurting, though. Double Down Casino is signing up new clients left and right in what appears to be a mad rush for gaming companies to get their brands established online. I wonder if the fall of Zynga and the rise of Double Down are somehow tied together. I think they are. Share your comments, questions, and suggestions when you phone us directly in the U.S. at 702-357-TWIG. That's 702-357-8944. Even with the falling stock at Zynga and the rising stock at Double Down, there's no legal place for Americans to play poker online for real money. So I hatched a plan. I've got an online poker site where recreational players can go, play for fun and free, have a good time, and win some money. I'm not talking about you have to pay a membership dues. I'm not talking about you have to win this tournament to win this tournament and then place in the top 3% of this tournament and then maybe you get a little something something. No, I'm talking about you play, you win, you get paid, period. The best part about this is that we're running it. You just go to thisweekingambling.com, find our poker page, register an account, start playing. What could be simpler? Right now, I'll admit the prizes are small, but it is real money, and we will pay you via PayPal. The thing is this, the more of you that come to play, the more money we'll be able to give away. So why not get over there? And while you're there, thank the poker sponsor for the month of October, The Gambling Gurus. This free roll is running from right now through the end of October. So get over to thisweekinggambling.com for your shot at some of that prize money. 
and be sure to thank our poker sponsor, thegamblinggurus.com. So, uh, so you, you're you're a you're a bunny. Yes, yes I am. You're a bunny rabbit. A Playboy bunny masquerade. Ah, and uh, I really like the costumes. You make it yourself? No, I've rented it out. Ah, well, it's a great costume. Um, sh everyone, turn around. Sh show the backside. You ever seen a tail that cute? The World Series gets underway this week. That's the World Series of Baseball for all you poker fans. Here with more on that and other sports betting related stories is the guy who put man in manscaping, Peter Loshak of SBR Forums. Thanks, Jay. I've never actually been too huge of a fan of put the X in the Y style jokes, but I did actually think of one that I'll give to you for free since I know I'll never use it. You can say someone or something puts the bling in gambling. There you go. That's yours, Jay. My treat. Trust me, I'll never use it. Just use it however you want. Anyway, in sports betting, these upcoming weeks, of course, are going to be jam-packed. We are in the dead center of high season right now. College football and NFL seasons are just about at their halfway points. And it's interesting, Jay, this past weekend in football was actually the worst weekend for the book since 2005. I did my weekly betting recap call with Doc, who's the headlinesman at Legend Sportsbook last Monday, as I do every Monday. And that's what he told me, and that was corroborated by many other sources. So you can check out my latest installment of that show that I did with him this past week if you want to find out more about it and hear what he had to say. Then in the NBA, the preseason's going on right now, and the NBA preseason is actually the most lightly bet preseason of all the major U.S. sports. The regular season, though, starts up on October 30th. I previewed the current futures odds in a video with our resident NBA handicapping expert, and uh, Miami's actually a minus 135 favorite to win the uh, Eastern Conference this season. Then in the NHL, the strike is continuing, and games have already been canceled. All games through November 1st are donezo you might use in your vids, Jay, Dunzo, right? In baseball, the World Series, uh, that starts on Wednesday, October 24th. It's Detroit and San Francisco. Detroit is the favorite to win, and the markets are giving Detroit about a 63% chance of winning the series. And the major worldwide soccer leagues are continuing their regular seasons, and there's even a major horse racing event coming up soon, the Breeders' Cup. That's on November 2nd and November 3rd. So it's a very full plate right now in sports betting, Jay Todd, and it should be like this through the rest of 2012. Back to you, Jay. Thanks for watching This Week in Gambling, everyone. I'm here with, what's your name, sweetie? Sasha. Sasha the Bunny. Do me a favor, Sasha. I saw you doing some little jiggy dance over there. How did that go? Can, can you teach me to do that? You just got to bend your legs a little bit. Like, like, like that? Yes. OK, one of us looks really good, and one of us looks really, really stupid. with sprinkles on top.